name is Rick with Cybermedics, and we're here today to talk about Google Voice. In particular, how to link a Google Voice number to your Gmail account. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is log in to your Gmail account. And what we'll do is, since we're logged into Bitwarden here at the top, we'll be able to automatically populate our password with Control Shift L. Bitwarden is a fantastic password manager. Highly encourage using a password manager and Bitwarden with a UB key. Click on our link to our videos listed above. Click next. And we have this account secured with a hardware security key and I have links to videos on YubiKey hardware security key. Highly recommend that you secure all of your email accounts with a hardware security key or authentication app. So we touch the key and then we click next. Now over here, we'll just search for Google Voice and then we'll click on Google Voice. And what we want to do is pick an area code. So we'll just pick an area code. And from that area code, you can then select a number. Once you find the number that you uh, are happy with, you just select the number. And it'll say claiming the number. And now it's going to ask you to verify the number. So at that point, you click verify and it's going to send a code to your cell phone number. So you have to have a registered cell phone number in order to claim a Google Voice number. So we'll click verify. So I'll put in my cell phone number. Now we'll click send the code. Okay, so we just now received the code. Click verify. Uh, and because that's connected to another cell phone number, that claiming that number will remove it from the other account and any forwarding will be canceled. It just disconnects your cell phone number from that number. So we're gonna go ahead and claim this, this phone number. So my cell phone number has now been linked to the new cell phone number, 321-209-0993. And you can now use that number to reach out to us directly if you need to contact us, because we're gonna use that for all the business contacts. So we'll click Finish. All right, so now the beauty of this is we want to go over here and manage the account and go to security and go to two-step verification. And of course, we'll need our password. And we can just use Control Shift L because we have the Bitwarden password manager. And now you can see I have all these security keys associated with the account. You don't have to worry about this phone number being SIM swapped, someone calling up a cell phone company and taking this phone number, putting it on another phone. The only way someone can get access to this phone number would be to, to get into this account. And they can't get into this account because it's been locked down with a security key. So if you've locked your account down with a security key or a uh, authenticator app, your account would be protected. Down, down below the security key section, there are backup codes. You can click this and then keep these backup codes as protection to get back in the account in case you lost your security key. You could also implement an authentication app and link that authentication app to your account, which would then send a code to your phone on that authentication app. We've covered that in detail in videos listed above. And finally, you can do a voice or a text message to get codes by text message or a phone call, which I don't recommend. 
So I would not add a cell phone number to your account for account recovery. I just, I think that's a bad idea. It's a vulnerability that you just don't need to have in your account. If you have financial accounts that, or email accounts that you want to have some sort of verification code sent to a phone number, recommend that you use a Google Voice number. Once you get that Google Voice number, list that as the authentication certification for the accounts that require a phone number. And that will then be sent to your Google account. As long as you have access to your Google account, you can get access to the information sent to that phone number. And if you have secured that account with a security measure, such as a security key or an authentication app, and in addition, have made copies of your backup codes, you're going to be covered from an account security standpoint. And that's what you need to do for every account that you have. I'd be particularly interested in your use of Google Voice for account security. Have you linked it to your financial accounts? Do you have it linked to other accounts for account security certification? Please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and have a great and wonderful automation day.